Bien. Alors, euh, mesdames, messieurs, euh, soyez les bienvenus à ce colloque d'ouverture de ce trimestre sur le monde quantique. Avant de donner la parole à notre premier conférencier, Philippe Planchat, j'aimerais faire quelques remarques générales sur la motivation, le but et le programme de ce trimestre. Mais tout d'abord, j'aimerais remercier l'Institut des hautes études scientifiques de nous donner la chance d'implémenter ce programme et Mme Elisabeth Chasson de son aide. Mes co-organisateurs sont Thibaut Damour, Henri Epstein et David Ruel, et je les remercie de leur participation bien appréciée. Je saisis l'occasion pour ajouter quelques remarques qui ne sont peut-être pas partagées par mes co-organisateurs et dont je suis le seul responsable. L'image suivante est symbolique pour l'entreprise de construire la mécanique quantique. Uh, now I will switch to English. So this is a symbol for quantum mechanics. The construction of quantum mechanics may remind one of the construction of the Babylonian Tower. Both projects have been very ambitious and had far-reaching consequences. And both projects left people participating in them in a state of utter confusion that made it difficult for them to understand each other. So what is the purpose of our program? Uh, maybe I should explain what the meaning of ABC in quantum mechanics is. Uh, it could be the alphabet of quantum mechanics, that's a good interpretation, but in fact I thought it might mean against Babylonian confusion in quantum mechanics. So the purpose of this program is to review some basic experimental facts and theoretical ideas about quantum mechanics with the hope that this will help us improve our understanding of the theory <coughs> and reduce some of the still enormous confusion surrounding its meaning and interpretation. So that's really what we have in mind. Here is a little bit of history. Since we have started a little late, uh, uh, I will cut short. You can, you know, meditate it. But this year indeed is a year that, uh, where, we have, where we are celebrating many anniversaries. And I have listed some of them here. And many of them have something to do with quantum theory. Of course, the most well-known one probably is the one about general relativity. It will be featured at the end of the trimester. So let me just show you for fun uh, some of the faces. These are the grandparents of quantum theory. Uh, I don't have the time to tell you who all these people are. I hope you recognize most of them. Yep. If you have questions, I'm more than happy to tell you who is who. Uh, but let, maybe we'll, we'll do this at the end. So here are the fathers. I think nobody has any problem to recognize these faces. And uh, of course, now th this is the most important slide. These are the revolutionary sons who really came up with the right formulation of the theory. You probably recognize everybody except perhaps the guy here on the left. This guy has become a sort of outcast. It is Pascual Jordan, who I think was one of the geniuses of quantum mechanics, but he was a little bit crazy and did certain strange things during World War II, so he has been forgotten somewhat. So here are some of the people who tried hard to understand the meaning of quantum mechanics. Again, probably you recognize at least these three guys. This is Ernst Specker, one of my professors at DTH Zurich. He is largely responsible for the Coach and Specker theorem. And this is his former postdoc and now retired professor of logic at Princeton, Simon Coachen. This is David Bohm. Uh, I think some of these guys have contributed to augmenting the confusion, but I will not say who, whom I'm thinking of. I think Thibault and I disagree on this point. So uh, I would like to maybe say a few things 
about all the confusions and how they perhaps uh, will disappear eventually. One of my teachers at DTH and a close friend, the late Dres Joost, used to say that there are three topics one should never discuss at the party because they lead to controversy and might spill a chilly atmosphere among people present. These are your and your interlocutor's religious faith, the problem of irreversibility in physics and the interpretation of quantum mechanics. While Joost's advice is still valid for the first of these topics, things have changed as far as topics two and three are concerned. There has been substantial progress in understanding the message of quantum mechanics and in clarifying what this most successful of all theories of nature is talking about. This progress would not have occurred without ever increasing interest in applications of quantum mechanics, for example, to information processing and computing, but more importantly, with, without all those wonderful and very clever experiments testing fundamental aspects of quantum mechanics that have been performed during the past 30 to 40 years, many of them in or near Paris. We are very excited that many of the most important experimentalists who have done such experiments are here or will be here today or will present lectures in the course of this trimester. I would like to kindly thank them all for their willingness to contribute to this program. Well, in the end, it will of course be up to us theorists to disperse the clouds surrounding some of the fundamental aspects of quantum mechanics and I hope we will make progress in this endeavor in the course of this trimester. So here is a sketch of the program. Maybe you already saw the first page. Uh, you will get announcements with titles of the various talks. The seminars will always take place on Wednesday afternoon. We will usually have two talks. Uh, and it, the program will close with a little conference on April 9 and 10, uh, whose scope will be somewhat wider. It will, will also involve questions of gravitation and so on. I would like to conclude and then pass the, the floor to uh, Philip. And I want to conclude with a little uh, manifesto that I nowadays always show at the end of my talks. Uh, have a look at it and I hope it will lead to some discussion in the course of this program. Maybe we can organize a day or two to talk about things other than natural sciences and quantum mechanics. So I thank you all for coming and uh, it's time to, I think David wants to add a few remarks and then Philip will talk.